little. <laughs> lovely people very beautiful morning beautiful afternoon and beautiful evening to every one of you how are we all doing i know we're doing amazing all right bless you all in today's video i will be telling you of a health person there who was sentenced to 10 years in prison for manslaughter yes he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for manslaughter why did i bring this to our notice because there are a lot and a lot of lessons to be learned from this as a nurse as a medical personnel as a healthcare worker as a healthcare assistant as a care support worker we have a lot to learn from this video so i will encourage you to share this video with as many as possible all right if you're meeting me for the very first time my name is violetto colocha and on this channel i talk about everything to help us pass our oski exam in one sitting and some positive vibes here and there you don't want to miss any of these all right guys so what happened this student came into the uk a few months ago he's a student and he studies here in the uk and so he got employed into the care home you know as a student in the uk you are allowed to work 20 extra hours just to make ends meet so he got employed into a certain care home and on a set day he was looking after the patient and the patient had two to one care what we mean by two to one care as you can see on the screen it means a patient who only two people must attend to so usually these patients usually should be a bariatric patient or probably a very confused patient so before they said two persons should attend to this patient you should know it should be a bariatric patient or a patient who is you know who is at a very high risk of confusion or probably who is aggressive all right so and what this man did instead of waiting or calling for an assistant he decided to attend to this patient by himself number one lesson if they say it is two people that should attend to a patient no matter how desperate the patient is never attend to the patient by yourself it should be two do not take up challenges here by yourself when it has been stated that it is two people that should hand or that should handle this patient so do not take up challenges by yourself so he took up these challenges by himself he went ahead to attend to this patient why did he do that according to him the other lady who was supposed to assist him was busy so he wanted to do it quick he wanted to help the patient but here in the uk they didn't see it as help they saw it as a man slaughter so we really have to be wise we really have to apply wisdom do not do things on your own when it has been said that it is two people that should work that should do it learn to wait if the sister is busy or the person to assist you is busy learn to do what learn to wait so while attending to the patient the patient fell down and you know what he did he quickly carried the patient up and put the patient back to the bed he didn't say it to anybody he didn't announce this to anybody he kept smooth about this usually in the clinical setting or in the care home or whichever you are then can you know can you go out of this place usually in the clinical setting or whichever setting you walk when such incidents happen the patient falls down to the ground you should pull the emergency buzzer and every other person will run and come and assist you usually when a patient falls to the ground you're not even expected to leave the patient by yourself to the bed we have a lot of equipment we use yes we use the over jack we have a lot of equipment we use to leave that patient to the bed so he quickly left you know lift the patient from the ground and pop the patient back to the bed another thing we need to know there are cameras everywhere in the nhs trust in the care home there are cameras everywhere so you don't want to risk anything anything you do or anything that happens please report it as nurses practicing here in the uk if we give patients wrong medication we did it ourselves yes i've worked with a nurse and on that same day, she said to me, she gave a patient a wrong medication. And she did this herself because our profession permits us to practice in openness, in honesty. One of our code of conduct is to practice safely and to practice effectively. So at every point in time, you must be safe and you must try to make sure that the patient is also safe. 
so he left the patient i'm sure he didn't really know that he's not supposed to leave the patient or probably he was scared that they were going to blame him you know so and he didn't ask like i always say to every one of us we should endeavor to ask questions oh what should i do if a patient falls or immediately the patient is on ground sister please the patient is on ground what can i do ask questions even if they laugh at you even if they feel you don't know but at least it averts you from making a whole lot of mistakes so what did he do he, he, he quickly leave the patient and pop the patient back into the bed he did not inform any one of this 24 hours later he was not on the shift and the patient died and here in the uk when a patient dies they always do for that check yes when a patient dies, they do for that check. What happened? What killed this patient? So they always do for that check, irrespective of the age of the patient. Yes, I've noticed a patient who died at about 90 something years and they did a for that check. The coroner did for that check on the patient. They had to, you know, contact all of us who attended to the patient. Like, what happened? That this patient death wasn't supposed to be, you know. So they do checks for that check when a patient dies. Yes, they do it. So when it was no longer on shift 24 hours later, they did for that check and they discovered that the patient had bruises and then they started doing their investigation and of course like i told you cameras everywhere and the investigation revealed that the patient had a fall and this fall was not reported if the fall was to be reported he wouldn't have had any issues they would just blame him like you should have had one patient he wouldn't have been sentenced to at least that 10 years in imprisonment he wouldn't have even been charged to court yes so he was sentenced he was charged to court and he was sentenced to 10 years in imprisonment this is really sad for somebody who has spent the money come to the uk to study trying to make ends meet and you can see what happened to what and you can see what happened to him so guys just getting into the uk is not enough I want to come to the UK, especially for those that are doing care, coming for care support worker. They keep advertising job groups and you are coming. Coming is not enough. I'm very happy for every one of us to come to the UK because I feel the UK is better for us if we feel so. So it's your opinion. But when you're coming into the UK, you see the job that you apply. You should be able to practice safely. You should be able to apply by their rules and regulations. Yes, it differs in country to country. So here in the UK, once you come to the UK, you should be open and you should be willing to apply by their rules and regulations a lot of people cos have been withdrawn a lot of people have been sent back home because they fail to obey the rules and regulation so i've brought this to your notice i hope this video has helped us learn one or two things may god help us and may we not have problems here in the uk while we are trying to make hands meet all the best guys thanks so much for watching do where to share this video to as many who you feel needs it i will see you again in my next video and until i see you again keep soaring higher i love you all guys and bye